eventually. We are here, so we're gonna go in and that way. And we're gonna go here to spa, then we're going up to a place called Bana, which I just misread as Banana Spa Beach. Then we're gonna go from there to Bali Haig. Bali Haig? Haig. Bali Haig. And we're gonna stop there today. It's only gonna be like 18 kilometers, give or take. Um, and then take the bus back. And then tomorrow we're gonna take the bus out and do this bit. Whatever that is, we're gonna do it. That's it, that's the trail. So I've been walking on a lot of road since Spa, um, but we recently turned on to a slightly quieter one. The first one was pretty busy, uh, but we're like just coming up like right onto the coast again. So, and the sun has come out, so it's all um, all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Ellie has a new bag. I have a new bag, and it's awesome. And we both have new shoes. We're poor now too. some beautiful shells. You should all be very jealous of them. <gasps> it cracked! Oh, okay. Still, some very beautiful shells. I like shells. So we're on Banna Strand and heading up to Bali... I read it as Bali Haig, but it's pronounced like Bali Haig or something along those lines. Yeah, we're about like four kilometers. Um, we've been walking on the beach for about, I don't know, two or three kilometers back. It's been absolutely gorgeous. It's our first like proper beach walk um, of the whole like trails we've done so far. So that's really exciting. It's like, it's so beautiful. We couldn't have asked for a better day. Um, yeah, that, that road section in the middle there was a little bit long, but it wasn't that bad really. Um, and the section before, like this, is perfect. It's like amazing. You wouldn't want, yeah, couldn't ask for anything else. Um, so now we're going to maybe have a chocolate bar and then walk the last bit. So day one of the North Kerry Way was um, pretty pretty nice really. You walk out of Tralee on the same route that you would go along on the Dingle Way, but instead of going down the Dingle Peninsula, you head north. And then there's, um, there's some nice fields, kind of continuing on the coast, and then you hit some road. That lasts for a while. Um, but then you hit the beach again, and you get to walk, like actually walk along the beach and through sand dunes and all that. So that was super nice. That was really, really, really great. And then we made it to Bali, Bali, Haig. Bali Haig. And that was a bigger town than I expected actually. It seemed really nice. Yeah, beach, pubs, coffee, the usual like criteria. Um, so we made it to there and then got a lift back to our campsite because this campsite's super nice. And if there's a campsite available, I'd much rather take the campsite and be comfortable where we're supposed to be. 
and and camping on a beach like sounds really romantic but when you look at the practicalities of like sand and like sand flies and dead seals dead seals oh we came across dead seals mm, that was uncomfortable yeah dead seals and and just the tide <laughs> um, so I was happy to come back to the campsite yeah we got a lovely lift off of Ned Harty I think Ned Harty there's a question mark at the end of that I think oh, yeah, that was it's it. on my phone um, sorry I just want to get his name right this mm -hmm. is super nice of him Ned Harty great okay um, we got a super we, um, yeah. we got a lift back off of Ned Harty which was really really nice um, really really appreciated it felt kind of weird the two of us getting into his like very nice car very clean car but it was um, really appreciated so thank you very much Ned and now it is time to find some food tomorrow we'll walk the, the kind of figure eight loop section um, so like the stage two and the last stage of the North Kerry Way so it's pretty short but it should be nice because it's doing like a figure of eight along a little peninsula so um, it should be pretty scenic and view full plentiful views yeah So it's been pretty kind of misty and um, drizzly today, which kind of similar to how it was in the cabin burn. And it's kind of weather that like, when you're inside looking at it, you're like, oh, I do not want to go outside in that. Like it's not heavy or anything. It's just like water in the air. Um, but it's actually kind of nice. It has that, um, like, yeah, kind of Irish, magically feel and like it doesn't suit every trail like sometimes you're on a trail and it's you're just trudging along like bored out of your mind but um it's quite nice on this one um you, the the clouds are kind of sitting all over the dingle peninsula and i'd say on a really sunny day the view would be spectacular but instead we kind of have this like mystical um magical kind of view because you can see um like the shapes of the mountains within the clouds um that you wouldn't really notice until you're looking over there and suddenly you realize you can see these like looming um hill like mountains um so yeah that's kind of yeah today i'm not we're not complaining about the the rain So earlier Ellie was talking about how the weather kind of suits the place and all that. And while like that that is definitely true, this is definitely very Atlantic weather. I'm really sick of being rained on. This is me walking on the road. It's a very uh, technical matter. I don't know, that's the only joke I have with this really. Okay, so we're on our last uh, kilometre or so of the North Kerry Way. Um, what did you think of the walking, Ellie? I think it was great. Actually, yeah, it was super, super nice. Yeah, I agree. Uh, almost like the Thorn Way. Because, like, like, so the only downside to this walk is that there's maybe seven kilometres of road at the beginning of it. Yeah. Um, which is fine, you know, but if I had the option to take a lift, I think I would take it. Or, I would go into Artfurt. Mm -hmm. uh, Artfurt seems like a really nice little town and it has a campsite in it. And the trail goes within like 300 meters of it, so... Yeah. 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 
Okay, um, what were we saying? We were saying how it would be nice if there wasn't that 7k on road. Yeah, oh, uh, to go into Eidfert, Eidfert, that's what I would do. Plus Eidfert seems to have a cafe and a pub and everything, so um, it'll be a nice place for a little rest. And a cool castle cathedral thing. Yes, uh, Eidfert has a cathedral and a friary, which are worth checking out, I think. Um, also, uh, you should stop at Spa Seafoods, because it has some really good seafood cheddar. Um, they didn't like give us any for free or anything. It was just super good. Um, and now we're under a little bit of time pressure because we're being graciously given a lift uh, by Brian from the Kerry Camino uh, to Trilly from Bally Um In fact, we're half an hour late. So sorry, Brian. Um, but yeah, what would you give this trail out of ten, Ellie? Um. 7.7? Yeah. Yeah. On a good weather day, I would nearly give it an 8. I think you're about right though. Um, yeah, definitely worth doing. Definitely, definitely worth doing, especially because it's so short. Although it's a long feeling. Yeah. We've, we've done what? We've done 44 kilometers or so. But then I felt, or maybe 46. But then I felt a bit more like, I don't know, 56. Maybe we're just yeah. out of shape on this one. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Also, unfortunately, the public transport out to Bally Hike is not particularly well timed. Um, especially on a Sunday, which this is. Um, so, do you like. Maybe prepare to get a lift uh, out and back or something, but anyway, in general, good trail. Good views of Dingle, too. Yeah. Okay. My hair looks really stupid. Yeah, I've been trying to rebrush mine since the so rain, much better. but.